Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mod Podge to decoupage a plate. I'm going to dip a foam brush into the Mod Podge. Just put a thin layer. This dries clear so you don't have to worry. It's going to go over the entire plate. It will give a nice finish and dry clear. You put your item on there. This is a flower cut out of vellum paper. You want to use something that's very thin because it's almost going to become part of the plate. To get it to adhere properly, it needs to be very thin, like tissue paper, vellum paper. Again, don't worry about the color. It will dry clear. Now I'm going to take this. Again, it's a very thin mulberry paper. I'm going to put it right there. It doesn't have to be exact. Whatever looks pleasing to you is fine. And I'm just going to work my way around. I'm not covering the entire plate right now, just the areas where I'm placing the items. Once that's dry, and you'll know it's dry because it will be completely clear and not tacky to the touch, then you're going to go ahead and put another coat over the entire plate but you don't want to put too much on at once. It will not dry properly. This is a great way to decoupage plates or boxes or any kind of items. You can cut paper um, out of magazines with pictures that you like. Anything that's on a thin paper can work for this. And just place it wherever it looks good to you. Again, when you're in this stage, you have a little flexibility. If you prefer to move something, you can peel it up gently and move it. When it's really fresh, you do have that flexibility. But once it starts to dry, you can't move it. It will rip. You just keep placing down the pieces and applying a thin coat of the Mod Podge right over them. And that's how you can decoupage a plate or anything else actually with Mod Podge. It's a great way to add a little personal touch, a little color to something. It's a great way to make a gift and there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Bye-bye.